Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. How Prince Harry is further distancing himself from the royal family. A lot has changed for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle since they decided in January 2020 to leave behind their roles as senior royals. Fully embracing their new lives, they moved to Canada and then Los Angeles, found new jobs, and reportedly made friends with their famous neighbors. But just when you thought the Duke of Sussex couldn't get any more removed from royal life, he made another choice that further distances himself from his family. This time around, the shakeup has to do with his charities. In the same way that humanitarian causes were a key part of Princess Diana's life, charity work and good will endeavors are important to Harry and Meghan. In April 2020, for instance, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced the formation of a non-profit organization named Archiwell, which was inspired by their son, Archie. Although charity work is still essential to Harry, his activism looks a bit different now that he's no longer operating on behalf of the British royals. Case in point, in June 2020, one of his beloved charities cut ties with a foundation linked to his brother and sister-in-law, Prince William and Kate Middleton. Given the rumors of discord between Harry and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, it makes sense supporters are speculating about what this development could mean. Prince Harry's foundation underwent a change. In 2012, Prince Harry founded the Endeavour Fund, a charity that supports wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans that helps them re engage with sport or adventurous challenge after sustaining injury or falling ill during their time in the military. It also helped establish and fund the original Invictus Games in 2014, an international sporting event for wounded, injured, and sick service personnel, the Royal Family's website states. The Invictus Games Foundation was founded soon after, and Harry serves as one of the organization's patrons. The Endeavour Fund originally existed within the Royal Foundation, an organization created by Harry and Prince William in 2009, but that has since changed as of June 2020. The Fund tweeted on June 1, 2020. Delighted to announce, that the Endeavour Fund has been transferred to a new home within the Invictus Games Foundation. The Invictus Games Twitter account shared the same message, adding, Invictus Games alumnus David Wiseman has led the Endeavour Fund from the start and says it will evolve in its new home and in a new post-COVID environment, but what will not change is support for recovery, rehabilitation and growth through the power of sport and adventurous challenge. Although it's great that the Endeavour Fund will continue to support those involved with its efforts, we have to wonder why this choice was made and what it means for Harry's relationship with the royal family. Prince Harry's decision makes a lot of sense. Although Prince Harry was ready and willing to leave behind his life as a senior royal, he had no intention of ditching his charity work, which includes both the Endeavour Fund and Invictus Games. In fact, Harry's decision to remove the Endeavour Fund from the Royal Foundation may have less to do with his relationship with Prince William and Kate Middleton and more to do with his involvement with the projects that mean a lot to him. It turns out that part of the agreement of Harry and Meghan's royal exit was that they would no longer be patrons for charities with the umbrella organization, the Royal Foundation, that means that Harry was no longer allowed to work with anything involved with the Foundation, including the Endeavour Fund. For Harry to be able to stay in charge of his own Foundation, he had to move it away from Will and Kate's organization. Harry's decision might not have been motivated by the status of his relationship with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, but that doesn't mean it won't potentially affect the allegedly sticky situation. Does this move hurt Prince Harry's relationship with his family? It's pretty difficult to figure out what's truly going on with the royal family, 
and whether the reports of feuds between Prince Harry and Prince William, as well as Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton, are accurate. However, it's clear that Harry's charitable work will no longer be tied to the royal families, which means that he's continuing to establish a new life for himself. What's more, this change was bound to happen, as a source told LMT Channel, a review of the Royal Foundation is something that had previously been announced. This is part of the couple's diverging paths, which hastened a look at the foundation. There may be valid reasons behind the split, but the fact is, leaving the Royal Foundation only deepens the divide between Prince Harry and his family. Many of their organizations worked together to garner more support, but now they are completely separate. Although Harry is no longer working alongside the royal family, his supporters can rest assured he remains committed to his beloved causes. Another report. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly in no rush to make friends in Los Angeles. To most people, the idea of being friends with Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex sounds pretty incredible. From all outward appearances, they are one of the most likable couples that anyone can think of, and we can only imagine that it would be amazing to be able to spend time with them on a regular basis. However, we know that the Duke and Duchess have their own inner circle, most of whom show their love and support whenever they can. One of the first major events of the year happened when the unexpected announcement was made that Meghan and Prince Harry had decided to step back from royal life. Although fans around the world were disappointed, many were still keeping a close eye on the couple, in anticipation of what would happen next. Everyone wanted to know what they would do, and most of all, where they would live. Now, Harry and Meghan have settled down in California, and they are going out of their way to ensure that they have the privacy they want. Here is why Meghan and Prince Harry are reportedly in no rush to make friends in Los Angeles. The split that no one saw coming. Prior to Mexit, millions of fans had known for quite some time that Meghan and Prince Harry were having problems. Even so, no one was quite ready to hear that they would be resigning as senior royals and becoming independent in search of a quieter life. The couple was always adamant about having a certain degree of privacy and ever since they went public with their relationship, the British tabloids have been relentless. Meghan, in particular, has taken an extreme amount of backlash in the media, and it got to the point where both of them had simply had enough. As the youngest son of Prince Charles, Prince Harry is sixth in line for the British throne, and as senior royals, he and Meghan were receiving massive amounts of attention that proved to be extremely overwhelming. Making the move to Los Angeles For a while, many fans were convinced that Meghan and Prince Harry would be living permanently in Canada. They did spend some time there, along with baby Archie, immediately following the announcement of their split from the royal family, but it was soon revealed that they were looking to live in California. Meghan was born and raised in Los Angeles, so the move certainly made sense for her. It is quite possible that it may have been a bit of a culture shock for Prince Harry, who has lived in England since the day he was born. It wasn't too long before, according to the Los Angeles Times, that Prince Harry and Meghan settled into a lavish, eight-bedroom mansion owned by Tyler Perry. The sprawling property is located in an exclusive gated community, and the couple is taking extreme measures to ensure that they have the privacy that they want. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly in no rush to make friends in Los Angeles. Now that Meghan and Prince Harry are officially residents of Los Angeles, can we expect to see pictures of them hanging out with a large group of high-profile friends? Chances are no. The couple is planning on maintaining a certain image, even though they are now independent, and they are going to be careful about their friendships. Melanie Bromley, head of news operations for NBC, told LMT Channel, I am sure their social life will consist of dinner parties with people they can trust and connect with. 
they are going to be very wary about opening up their social circle too much, as fraternizing with the wrong people has the potential to be hugely damaging to their image and plans. Chances are, they know what the consequences could possibly be if they form relationships with the wrong people, so they are taking all the necessary precautions. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.